and to a new video. How are you all doing this week? I hope you are really well. And oh, good morning, Myla. What can you see? Ooh, this could be interesting. Oh, oh, yes, definitely something, someone outside. Beautiful sunny day this morning. It's gorgeous. Hope you enjoyed last week's video. That was quite sunny, wasn't it? It was lovely actually, but what holiday? Seems like a lifetime ago. Anyway, all things are good. And thank you all for your lovely comments about last week's video. And if you did watch it, you will know that I did a bit of a run through tour of the hotel that we stayed in, in Rhodes. And I was talking about food and restaurants and how the food should be part of the five star experience if you go to a five star hotel. And one thing I did forget to mention that a lovely subscriber actually mentioned in the comments was about having to pay for the exclusive restaurants. And just to clarify that, there was an all-inclusive buffet, which was not of a good standard at all. And then on site, there was also an Italian restaurant and a Greek restaurant. Both of those, you were allowed to go to one each. So if you were there for a week, you could go to the Italian restaurant once, the Greek restaurant once as part of the all-inclusive package. If you want to go more than once, yes, you do have to pay, is what I found out afterwards. However, we didn't, because we had a little bit of a mix up one night with one of the restaurants where I booked the Greek and they thought we'd booked the Italian. There was a little bit of a mix up and it was on Paul's birthday. We got it sorted. We went to the restaurant we wanted to go to, but when we came to check out, we weren't actually charged for those nights. So to end that bit of the story about the hotel, Yes, the food is a letdown, a huge letdown as far as I'm concerned. And another person commented that they find all inclusives to be a bit like school dinners. And that was exactly the phrase I was looking for and didn't get it out in my video. It was like queuing for the school dinner. And that kind of experience isn't for me, whether it's five star or not, but the food certainly wasn't five star. It was in the Greek and the Italian restaurant. So if you do find yourself going to the Electra Palace Hotel in Rhodes, something to bear in mind. It might be your kind of thing, might not be, might not be at all. It wasn't my kind of thing. Having said that, the rest of the hotel was beautiful and I loved it. Um, a few little issues, staffing issues, I would say as well. But on the whole, it was beautiful. But back to reality and back to this week's video. I won't bang on about it anymore. Let's get into it. I have lots to show you this week, some lovely purchases, and I hope you like them. So sit back, relax, get yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, or anything, something a bit stronger, maybe. It's a bit early though, isn't it? It's only 11 o'clock. Oh, I need to go shopping. I'm going to go shopping. You watch this week's video. Hope you enjoy it. Got my coffee. Are you sitting comfortably? I will show you what I have bought in B&M today. Um, my total shop today has come to £43.98p. The first thing I got were these. Now this was a pack of three. I have opened them because I've given one to mum. But I got some simple white framed block photo frames. Three in a pack for £4.99. What a bargain. And the reason I got these, actually, and I've given one to mum, is because Adam, my son, Adam, has just received an Outstanding Achievement Award from the University of Exeter for outstanding academic results in his course of modern history. The highest grades that anybody has got in that course, in that university's history. Very proud, very proud. And the certificate is A4 size, so we wanted to frame it. So there's been one for mum, there's one in here for me, and I've got a spare one for anything up and coming in the future. Maybe another certificate, who knows? So these are A4 size, eight by 11 and a half inches, or 21 by 29 centimetres. And as I say, three in a pack for 4 99 Very pleased with that. I did get another picture frame. Um, this is slightly different. It's a six by five with the mount. And this was £3.50, so it is slightly different. It's got a thicker wooden frame to it. Um, and this one is for a lovely picture that was taken of me and Paul on holiday by the photographer in the hotel. So I am going to frame that for him. That's a little present for him. I got some rather naughty, and I am on a diet, by the way. I did weigh myself before I went on holiday. I haven't weighed myself since I've come back from holiday. 
I'm not going to. But before I went on holiday, I'd actually managed to put on a stone since January of this year. And it, I do completely blame it on the invisible chef, I hasten to add. All this lovely food that he's been cooking for me and what did they say? Contentment or something like that. So anyway, no, there's really no excuse. I have put a stone on and I want to get rid of it. And hopefully I'm going to do my best to get rid of it or most of it before Christmas, but I have treated myself to something naughty. These are Mrs. Crimble's gloriously gluten-free, I hasten to add, six big chopped macaroons. They are yummy. And how much were they? Let me have a look on my one pound, on my receipt, one pound. And they are lovely. So I just need to be a little bit cautious, perhaps just have one every now and then. But there's other people in my house, as you know, Grace. A boyfriend pops in, pulls around. I don't think they'll last very long anyway, so that's fine. Um, picked up some cat food. Um, this one is Myla's favourite. It's the Perina Gourmet food and the Mon Petit Intense. We have fine cuts with tuna, salmon and trout and with turkey, chicken and duck. That's Myla's go-to favourite. She doesn't eat very much wet food, actually. She likes her biscuits and her dry food more. But one little sachet of that, she might eat half or three quarters of it twice a day. So she doesn't get through a lot. So she doesn't eat anything bigger than that. And Albert's into this one at the moment, an old favourite. We've gone back to the Perina one. And this is for senior, seven plus, because Albert's 10 now. Um, this is with beef and carrots, chicken and green beans. And he likes that one. So we've got that. I then found... And you know I love my coffee and I love my coffee mugs. I've got various coffee mugs. I love my Emma Bridgewater ones. But I found these in the Simply Everyday range at B&M, £2.50 each. I got two ribbed glass mugs. I really like those. And I saw, a, I saw somebody on YouTube the other day. I think it was Naomi's Life. I really like her. Follow her. And she always makes a lovely Japanese tea or green tea. It's always in a in a glass cup or mug. And I thought, oh, that's very sophisticated. I like the look of that. And I saw these in B&M, £2.50 each. So I bought two. I really like them. I might go back for another two, actually, and have four. But they were a little treat today. I needed some washing up liquid. And I normally go for fairy. Always go for fairy, unless I go to Aldi. And then I get their Magnum, which I think is amazing. And those are my two favourite washing up liquids. But today I have changed again and I've gone for a Fabulosa in the scent of Rainbow Drops. And the reason I got this is this is in my workplace at the moment. And I was washing up at work the other day and I thought, that smells nice. So I went for that one and it, it is quite a bit cheaper than Fairy. Actually, I should tell you how much that one is. It's £1.49 for 675ml. I think the Fairy for the same price was about £2. So it is a little bit cheaper, but that one smells very nice. That was the only scent they had in B&M today, but I have seen other fabulous scents as well. Um, I got some Right Guard deodorant. I got the Extreme 72 Hours. I like this one for its scent, not because I'm very smelly and I need it to last me 72 hours. Um, I like it for its scent. I normally buy the Right Guard Invisible or the Nivea black and white invisible so it doesn't make marks on your clothes but I find that this one dries very quickly anyway so by the time I've had my shower in the morning and I've used it I've put my makeup on and then I'm getting dressed or whatever order I'm doing things in it tends to dry quite quickly and doesn't go on my clothes anyway but I just really like the scent of that one so I got a couple of those in fact I got three of those one for Grace as well um I needed some honey which I'm finding very expensive in Morrison's at the moment. So I've stopped having organic honey. I haven't had Manuka honey for ages because that's really expensive. So I just went for a very standard clear honey because I just have this primarily on a bit of on my cereal in the morning rather than sugar or sweetener. Um, so I just went for the Hilltop Value clear honey, pure and natural. And that one was Hilltop Honey, £2.49. Not bad. That price in Morrison's of the one I normally like can be nearly five pounds. So that was a little bit of a saving today, I thought. I then got some microfiber, microfiber, microfiber cloths 
in B&M and these were marked up at £2.50 but then one of them had a label on that said it was reduced to a pound. I queried it at the checkout and they did both indeed come through as one pound. So one pound for a pack of three. And Sorry, cold callers at the door. I don't know about you, but it really annoys me. Really, really annoys me, especially when you say, I'm not interested. And they go, is there a better time to call back? No, I'm not interested. I'm sorry for any of you that might be people that go around knocking on people's doors trying to sell things or even if it's for charity. I just don't think in this day and age knocking on people's doors, asking for anything is appropriate. It, that's just me. I'm having a bit of a rant now. Um, anyway, let's get back to the B&M haul. Microfiber cloths, that's where we were. Suede. Suede. Look at that. Aren't they lovely? So soft. Softer than Myla's fur really nice haven't seen these before suede microfiber cloths antibacterial treated they are very absorbent and durable apparently you can use them wet or dry and um being the antibacterial technology it just actually say it helps reduce the spread of harmful bacteria but anyway more importantly <laughs> not more importantly but i liked the feel of them and i think that they will be particularly good in the kitchen and particularly good for doing your sink taps because I reckon they'll make them shine really well. So I was very pleased with that and I was even more pleased they were down to one pound for a pack of three. So two pound for six, you can't beat that, can you? I got a pack of Dove soaps. There are six 90 gram bars in here. Dove is the only soap I use. I use shower gels and bubble bath and all those kind of things but if I'm using soap in the shower as well as my shower gel I always use Dove always have done and probably always will and they were quite um they were quite good that was £3.29 for six um again more pricey than that in Morrison's of late so um and they last me such a long time I don't need to buy them very often so that wasn't a bad price for those and I also picked up some Dettol antibacterial multi-purpose wipes. I do use these a lot just around the mats that the cats have their bowls on for their meals throughout the day. Um, and then every couple of days I completely wash the mats. But if they've just, you know, spilled a little bit of biscuit or something, I just <clears throat> mop it up with one of these. And sometimes I use them on the kitchen worktops as well. Um, or if um, there's a spillage on the kitchen floor, I'll use those initially. And if I'm mopping later that day, then so be it. But I do find them really, really handy. And again, if anybody's ill in the house, the other thing I use these for is for doing all the door handles and the banisters and everywhere that you are likely to touch or places that are communally touched around the house. If somebody's poorly in the house, good idea to use those. Fortunately, I haven't got anybody poorly in the house, but it's always good to have them in. Next, I actually bought some makeup in B&M, which I have never done before. So let me know if you've bought makeup in B&M before and what you think of it. But I needed some new eyeshadow and I just got this one called The Nudes, which is really nice. So you've got a very, very light sort of ivory colour, a peachy colour, mushroomy colour. And so you get sort of a smoky eye effect, I suppose. But I haven't had that before. I haven't had any makeup from B&M before, but I got this eyeshadow palette. So hopefully that will be okay. I do have very sensitive eyes and I am a contact lens wearer, but I don't react generally to makeup or anything like that. But um, it'd be interesting to see the staying power of these. Let me know if you've had those before. And because I have recently been in the sunshine, although I do use an SPF on my face when I'm in the sun. I have caught some colour. I didn't burn at all, but I have got a suntan. So I think my skin needs a little bit of TLC at the moment, especially coming back into this country and it's cold outside. I haven't put the heating on yet, but I don't think it'll be long before my central heating does go on. And all those kind of elements affect your skin, don't they? So I also picked up some nice face masks today in B&M. This first one, really like the sound of called gold hydrogel is a collagen face mask rejuvenating and soothing these are one pound 49 each bargain 
I got Skin Techniques Hyaluronic Hydrogel Collagen Face Mac Hydrating and Moisturising with a firming effect. Getting on now, you know. And this one, I think I might give it to Grace actually, but this one is a pink grapefruit bubble sheet mask for cleansing and nourishing. And I think my skin will benefit more from these ones. And this I thought was quite fun looking. So I might actually give that one to Grace. Those are my B B and M bits for this week. But I have got a shop from Lidl to show you now, and a couple of bits and pieces that I'm really, really pleased that I picked up today. And I also picked up a little treat as well, a little gift. Let's see. So today I've spent just over seventy pounds in Lidl. I picked up a few essentials and a couple of other bits and pieces as well. I'm this week going to try the four mil bio liquid for washing clothes. I've not used this before. I have used the tablets before from Lidl, but I haven't used this. And I'm finding at the moment that my washing pods don't smell like they're cleaning as well as they should. Um, and I'm, I just don't know whether it's just i am become a bit immune to the scent or something, but I've been using aerial pods for a long, long time now. And things just aren't, I don't know, it just doesn't quite smell like it would normally smell. I don't know why that is. Anyway, I thought I'd try something different just to see if it's me, really. And I haven't tried this one before. So let me know what you think of that if you have tried it. Um, so looking forward to trying that. I picked up some skimmed milk. I got some creamy coleslaw. I only bought a little one today because I've already got one in the fridge. What I do like about the ones in Lidl is they've got the proper lids on so you can close them up again. You know, sometimes they just has, have the cling filmy bit on the top and you can't close them up. I do like to be able to close it up and keep it fresh for a couple of days. So that was handy. I got six British Golden Yolk Free Range Eggs as I'm running out of eggs, as you can see. I picked up some British Scarlet tomatoes. These are lovely and sweet. Really love those and get through quite a lot of those. So I bought the two packs. Got some British corn on the cob, some British salted butter. They do an unsalted one as well, but I like the salted one. I did pick a couple of naughty goo puddings, salted caramel cookies and cream for one night. Um, picked these up for the cats, Dreamies Meaty Sticks. Haven't had those before. Let's see what they think of those. Got some steak. I got two lots of sirloin steak. And I also picked up a beef ribeye steak. That one's for Paul, actually. He prefers ribeye. Um, and me and Grace are going to have sirloin. I got a cucumber, but I went for the organic range this week. So I'm going to make a Greek salad tonight. So I thought I'd go for organic cucumber. And here is the Greek style cheese that's going to go in it. So this was really quite well priced at Lidl. I was very, very pleased with that. I picked up some Whisper, Cadbury's Whisper chocolate desserts one of grace's favorites we've got some black pitted olives to go in the greek salad some greek extra virgin olive oil for the salad i got some balsamic vinegar and that's for dipping a little bit of bread in next to our greek salad and i picked up some coke zero sugar and then I got these for the bathroom. Toilet bowl, fizz and fresh deep cleaning foam action. I got one in lemon splash and one in eucalyptus fresh. I've had that one before. Really good. Lasts a long time as well in the toilet bowl. My usual makeup remover, Micellar Garnier. Micellar cleansing water. Absolutely great. Brilliant if you're a contact lens wearer. And my little treat of the day, and I couldn't resist was this little chap here. This is a doorstop. They've got a couple of dog ones as well, but as you know, I'm a cat lover. I picked up this little cat, all made with recycled material, global recycle standards certified. And that doorstop, I think, is going to go in my lounge. And I just thought it was so cute. So, so cute with this little, look at his little dicky bow, or her little dicky bow absolutely gorgeous love it so there's my little little shop for this week good morning it's friday morning actually i'm on my way to work i'm just waiting for the um car windows to uh 
demissed a little bit these cool mornings that we're having anyway i just wanted to show you my eye makeup this is my bnm eye makeup the bnm palette that i bought the other day that i was showing you and it's really nice the colors are really intense actually which i really like so you don't need much on um but i've got a feeling that this is going to stay put all day as well so i'm really happy with that i just thought i'd share that with you right it's gonna work i don't like these mornings i get up quite early every morning 5 45 i get up to go to work i don't go to work at 5 45 i get up at 5 45 and it's dark now so Hey ho. Right, let's go. Well, that's work out of the way. And on my way home from work today, I popped into Sainsbury's for a couple of just little essentials. But I also picked up this for Christmas. Yes, the C word. I got this a very nice faux, although I think it looks very real, bunch of mistletoe on this very nice little grey coloured hanging ribbon. So you can hang it anywhere. Ready for a little bit of a smooch, I think, underneath this mistletoe. I do normally buy fresh if I can. I do find it quite expensive sometimes, especially if you were to go for a bunch that would be as big as this. And my grandmother used to have a saying that if you keep the mistletoe in your Christmas decorations from the year before, so when you're packing your Christmas things away, pop the mistletoe somewhere in your you know, with your Christmas tree or somewhere with your baubles and whenever you're packing away. When you open it the following year to put your Christmas decorations up, it's just meant to be very good luck. Now, I'm not a superstitious person by nature, but I have actually always done that. And I've actually got a piece of mistletoe that is nothing more than a twig, <laughs> quite frankly. Now, but it was actually my grandmother's that I must have had for about 30, 35 years. But anyway, I do like a little bit of mistletoe hanging up in the hallway somewhere. This was Habitat within Sainsbury's and it was £8. And I thought that was actually quite reasonable for that. I think it's a very nice bunch and I do think it's very realistic looking as well. So that was a little treat. And I didn't buy this from Sainsbury's, but Paul did for me. little present from the Invisible Chef. This is Gin and Tonic Garnish. Never heard of it myself. Fragrant and citrusy is this one. I don't know if they do any others, but this was a little gift from Paul. I don't drink very often, but when I do have a little drink, I do like a gin and tonic. And this is a mixture of dried orange slices, cardamom, juniper berries, and dried cranberries. So quite festive, I would say as well, if you were having it around Christmas time, but I don't think it's going to last until Christmas time. The idea is you put one piece of dried orange in the bottom of a large gin glass, top it all up, and then put some of the sprinkles of the cardamom seeds, the cranberries, and the juniper seeds on the top. And it's meant to make your gin and tonic very, very fragrant and citrusy. And that is also from Sainsbury's, part of their Taste the Difference range. I'm looking forward to trying that. But when I came home, I also came home to a delivery. I was expecting more today, actually. So not everything's gonna appear in this week's video as I hoped, hopefully next week. I've ordered some things from Zara. Can't wait for that to come. But I actually went out for a meal a couple of weeks ago and it was a pub, very nice pub, but it was a pub. But when I was in the ladies room, I rather liked the scent of the hand wash. Now, I don't know about you, whether it's just me and I do things like that, but I have a bit of a thing about scents, whether it's hand wash, foam bath, shower gel, shampoos, things around the house, candles, reed diffusers, anything like that. I'm a bit of a sucker for a nice fragrance. And I was totally overwhelmed by the fragrance of this hand wash in the pub. So I wrote it down. <laughs> I got my little, well, I got my phone out and made a note in my phone of what it was called and the company that made it. And it's this, it's called Odyssey. And it's black pepper and sandalwood hand wash. Now, if I could eat it, I would, because, oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. A gorgeous. If you like woody scents like I do, you're gonna absolutely love this. But then I went on the internet to find it and I actually found it through this company called Out of Eden. You may have already heard of Out in Eden. 
primarily they are suppliers to the hospitality sector. But anybody can buy from Ads of Eden. You don't have to be trade. And the prices are really good, really, really reasonable. They've also sent me in my delivery their catalogue, lethal, because I am bound to order something else out of here. But they have everything from bedding, things for the bedroom, food and drink, toiletries, things for the bathroom, all your cleaning products, everything for kitchen and dining and everything for guests as well. So if you do run a hotel or a B&B or anything like that, you can get all your things like signs and door hangers, personal key tags, um, reservation diaries, guest books, message pads, all of those kind of things that are really good for trade. But you can also buy everything for your kitchen, aprons, oven gloves, tea towels, bin liners, everything for cooking, bins. You can get all your dinnerware. Look at those dinnerware services. Absolutely great. All sorts of cleaning products. So I should be going through this with a fine tooth comb. And then you've got, let's go through some of these. Oh, you've got bath mats, things for the shower, towel in robes, lots of towels. I bought some towels recently, as you know, but I might get some more. Um, on there, all your toiletries. And this is where I found, that's how it looked in the pub, the Odyssey hand wash with the hand lotion as well, I might add. I didn't buy any of that though. And you can also buy these wall brackets to put your hand wash in. If you want them up on your wall in your bathroom or your kitchen, I don't want one of those, but they have got absolutely everything. Now, they've got loads of different hand washes. Look, they've even got the Cole and Lewis London range. Love it. And the one I got was this Odyssey. And they basically start from £1 and 8p each. How marvellous is that? Now, I bought six. I have stocked up proper stocked up on these and if you get one of their if you order something from them you'll automatically get a free catalogue but I'm sure you could probably get a catalogue of them if you give them a call anyway um but they are 300 ml bottles that's the size I've got and you can also buy five litre refills and that's in any of the hand washes I do believe and the more you buy the more you save so they have an each price and they have a plus three price or a plus six price Price and I bought six so I've got an even further reduction on that absolutely incredible look you can even my kettles I think this is great hair dryers oh my goodness there's everything bins you can buy safe a mini fridge you can buy a cot out of Eden absolutely great had not heard of them before I'm sure you have but I'm a bit slow sometimes on these things but I'm loving that and I'm going to decant these into my special decanters I've got in my bathroom and I can't wait to wash my hands very shortly because they smell delightful I am so pleased with those don't think anything else is going to turn up today sadly but never mind those are a few little purchases that I'm really quite pleased about this week hmm well, I spoke too soon because just after I finished filming that clip, one of my Zara purchases turned up. This is from Zara Home and it's obviously a holder for hand wash and washing up liquid for your kitchen. They've also sent me a nice free hand wash. Thank you very much, Zara. So I've filled it up and I've put it here in place by my kitchen sink. There's also a place for your sponge or in my case, my scrub daddy. I'm going to put this one in there because Grace very kindly has bought me a new pumpkin one this week. So here we are having our moment on the bed and don't I look bedraggled <laughs> like I've gone through a hedge backwards. Do you know what I've been so busy this week so busy getting back into the swing of everything as well and getting back into the getting up early for work and the routine of everything what have you but I honestly felt like I've met myself coming backwards this week honestly I have and this week's moment on the bed, I'm going to try and keep it brief, but I've got another haul for you. And I was going to put this in next week's video, but I was so excited when this arrived this afternoon. I thought, no, do you know what? Let's let's show everybody what we've got. But this week I have discovered Timu. You've probably heard of it. What a great online store that is very affordable prices for absolutely anything and everything you can think of. Household items, beauty products, jewellery, you name it, they've got it. I have made my first ever Timu purchases and I've gone a bit Christmas and some things are a bit silly 
but you know I just couldn't resist some of these you're gonna love them you're just gonna absolutely love this and well I don't know where to start really let's start with um let me see oh my god I've forgotten what I'd ordered I'm gonna start with these these are fun I bought these for Grace for Christmas and I found <laughs> I found these really rather fun such fun Christmas slippers look at them aren't they gorgeous and they are so cozy they're all furry lined inside as well aren't they great and of course we've got Rudolph on the front she's going to love those there were other designs as well I think this was the only one I could get in her size actually but she's going to really like those. I thought they were really good fun, really cute. If I can, and I've got time, I should link all the prices that I've paid for these down below. But if you go to the Timu site, honestly, you won't believe your eyes when you see the prices of everything. Super affordable, really good. This was another fun item. I haven't, you can see, I've, I'm so excited. And literally, this has just arrived in the last few minutes. I haven't opened anything. So you're seeing this first glance like I am. I thought this was so much fun. And can I open it? I can. These, love it, are wine bottle holders. What a great idea. If you are giving someone a bottle of something for Christmas, there's your wine bottle holder. Rather than trying to wrap it up, it's difficult wrapping up a wine bottle, isn't it? You know, you just scrunch all the paper around it, twist the top and put a bow on it. Usually that's what I do. But I thought these were really good fun. I always give my brother-in-law a bottle of something at Christmas as well. He's going to love that. I got two of those. Again, rather fun. But I tell you what else I'm really impressed with. Just feeling this and feeling the slippers. What great quality. Really, really nice. It's not tatty stuff at all. You know, I didn't really mind if it was going to arrive a bit tatty because it's so cheap and affordable. But it's really not. It's really, really nice quality. I'm super impressed with those little fun bits and pieces. I got this. I can't remember what it is. Let's open it together. I think it's a little, I think it's an ornament. And again, I think I bought this for Grace. I hope she's not watching this video this week. Grace, switch off now. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, it's a little. Oh, no, it's a candle. Oh, I love it. It's a Christmas candle. But look at that. A little mug with marshmallows in the top and little, if you look closely, little gingerbread people and a little heart inside there, which I think has got the wick on it. Yes, it has. But that, oh, it smells lovely as well. I'm not going to open it, obviously, because it's a gift. On the front, it's got little stickers, Merry Christmas. But it's like a proper little hot chocolate, isn't it? Little hot Christmas hot chocolate, a bit like my hot chocolate station. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I forgot about my hot chocolate station. Um, that is super cute. And Grace, like me, is a huge candle lover. She's going to love that. I thought that was really different, actually. Although it's quirky gift, different. Very, very happy with that. I shall put that back together in a minute when we finish chatting. Ah, uh, what else did I get? Oh, I don't know what this... Oh, this is just a useful purchase. Tumble dryer balls. Does anybody else use these? I do normally use... Did I scented? No, they're not scented. Um, I normally use tumble dryer sheets. And they're quite expensive, actually. But someone recommended to me a couple of weeks ago tumble dryer balls. So I've got a pack of three of those in the householding department. This is an item of clothing and I can't remember what it is. Useful though, come in these zipper bags. You get those when you order things from Sheen as well and I love that. Do you know I took them on holiday? Brilliant for your sea shoes when they're wet or your bikini and your bathing suit to come home when they're all wet and horrible in the suitcase. I love these zipper bags. I use them for recycling as well sometimes. Multitude of uses. What's this? Oh yes. This is, oh, this is quite nice, actually. This is a Christmas top, obviously, but I liked that design with the different coloured Christmas trees on it. That's quite nice. It's quite a thin material, but it's fine. It's nice. I really like that. It's nice quality material, but quite thin. A bit crumpled. I should give that a wash 
and an iron if I am going to wear that before Christmas. I also got another top. <laughs> a couple of things, actually, a couple of tops. This one I was hoping would perhaps be my Christmas Day top. Not sure. Let's have a look. But that one's got a very nice, sparkly glass of Christmas bubbly on it. I really like that. And again, I do like a Christmas jumper, actually. But that, I thought, was quite classy. A bit different. I really like that. And it's a bit sparkly as well. She's really nice. Again, that sweatshirt feels really nice quality. And actually, it's quite large. I can't remember what size I got, but it does seem quite roomy. So it's going to fit anyway. So that's that. That's good. And this one. Who did I buy this for? I'll remember when I've opened it. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Actually, this one is in large, but looks a bit small. And it looks, it's okay, it's, it's a fun thing. Another Christmas top. But actually, that seems to be quite small for a large, but I do like it, look at Rudolph. And the poor balls hanging off his antlers. I do love it, that's quite fun. I think I actually bought that for the Invisible Chef, I can't remember. I can't remember, but that, I don't think it's gonna fit him. It might fit Adam. Um, so, I shall have a think about who I'm going to give that to, but it's fun, isn't it? It's all good. It's all good, fun stuff. I then got, um, now these are really cute. I'm very pleased with these, very happy with these. They do quite a lot of candles, bits and pieces. And I saw these and I think I bought four, I have, I've bought four of these. Christmas candles, really. Because they are in the shape of none other than a gingerbread man. It could be autumnal, but I think Christmas. How cute is he? And very, very gingerbread scented. Loving it. Loving it. I'm in my element with any Christmas candle, but that cute beyond cute. I love it. I've got four of those. Let's see where they end up over Christmas. And then I got some, one thing I was a bit disappointed with, I bought some wrapping paper. Wrapping paper itself is fine, but it's all got crumpled up in the delivery. So I'm going to put these in between some hard books, I think, for a few weeks and see if I can flatten them out. But it doesn't really matter, I suppose. They'll be fine when I come to wrap things but I really like those one with Merry Christmas on and the other's got snowflakes reindeers stars got the Christmas on his sleigh but they're really nice they've got they've got all sorts of different Christmas wrapping paper and I think does it say I think we've got four sheets of each design in each pack so I've got quite a lot of <laughs> wrapping paper and then I got these, which I thought would be nice, again, for wrapping presents. Get one out and show you. Little bags. Can I open this up? Let me see. I'm not the best at working these things out sometimes. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Got it. Didn't need a qualification to sort that out in the end. These I got because they also come with, where is it? They come with a shoelacy type of thing, which you can put through here. I should have done that thing where, you know, here's one I made earlier, do a blue Peter job. So you put, you attach the shoelaces either side, but you can also attach and tie it up at the top with a little black bow. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm putting little gifts in here, I haven't opened that very well, have I? It's not very neat. They're not very big. They're not as big as I thought they would be, but I can put little gifts in there. If I'm giving somebody a, a candle or a, a little soap set, or you could fill it with sweets or wax melts, anything like that, whatever gift I thought I'd put in those. And when you seal it up with a bow, do you know what it reminds me of? 
I'll give you 10 guesses. I'll give you two guesses. I'll give you one guess because you know me. Doesn't it remind you of the white company bags? Hang on. Here is one I had earlier. I mean, I know the size is, <laughs> forget the size because white company bags come in all sizes depending on what you buy. But I thought it was quite classy and it did remind me of the bags from the white company. So if I'm buying anybody a bit of jewellery or anything that's small enough that can go in those, I think they're going to look really nice. Really, really nice. And it's sometimes nice, isn't it, to have something other than Christmas wrapping paper. If you give somebody a nice bag with a bit of tissue paper in, I think it looks really nice and really classy. I think that's it. But I was very, very, <laughs> oh yeah, it is that, that's it. But I was so excited about getting that delivery because I've heard a lot about Timu. Hadn't had time to look at the website until about a week ago. These have taken about a week to arrive. So I don't know whether that's usual or it's whether it's just the things that I've bought or whether it's the time of year. They're probably starting to get really busy now. I think they're becoming very popular. But I was very impressed. I am very impressed with the website and do take a look if you get opportunity because it's very affordable and I'm very, very, very pleased with all those purchases, which I shall put away shortly. Coming back again to the hotel that I went to on holiday, a few of my subscribers have pointed out that they have looked at the hotel that I went to and it's now being advertised with Jet2 Holidays as four star plus and not five star plus. Interesting. And I don't know whether, well, obviously that's happened this year because when we booked the hotel, I think it was probably the end of June when we booked it. And when we booked it, it was five star plus. I've gone onto the Jet2 website tonight and had a look and it's definitely four star plus. So it's interesting because they've had their refurbishment this year. It, there must be quite a lot of people that have probably picked up on the same issue about the food. And it looks like it's had a bit of a, a re-review, certainly with Jet2. I don't know about any other holiday companies, but with Jet2, it has actually gone down now to four star plus. And I kind of, that sits okay with me. I think that that's good. And I think I, one of my subscribers has also said they are going there next year. So I'm very pleased that someone else is going along. You'll love it. You will, you'll love it. It's really lovely. Anyway, things are all good here, really, as it stands. I have um, taken the cats to the vets today. They've had their annual vaccinations for flu and leukaemia. Um, they both seem to be in very good health. myla has got to have a tooth extraction, would you believe? Um, she's got a tooth that has grown in the wrong direction and it's piercing her gum, which is making it a little bit sore for her. And the vet tells me it's very common with her breed. So I've got to get that booked in. That'll be a pretty huge expense because she'll have to go under a general anaesthetic. So I don't know when that will be. But yeah, they're fine. But she has got to have a little procedure. I haven't heard any more about the procedure I'm going to be having and I hope it's going to be soon because I want it done and dusted and recovered before Christmas. If anybody, if you, any of you missed a couple of videos ago when I mentioned it, I have actually got a little tumour in my mouth that needs removing. Um, but nothing seems to be happening quick with our God bless it, NHS these days, does it? So I've chased it a couple of times. The referral was made on the day I actually saw the dentist who discovered it, but nothing has come through yet. And I still haven't had an appointment for mom for the memory team assessment. She was assessed at the doctors weeks ago when it was clear that she um, was going to need some in-house assessment at her home. Um, and it was done as a quite an urgent, severe referral. Again, I've heard nothing. I've chased that and I was given a number to ring to try and get through to the memory team directly. I've rang four or five times, it just rings out. I can't get through. So we're in the just the same old position really with medical bits and pieces, but I thought I'd quickly update you, although there's nothing there to update you with because nothing has come through yet, but as it does and when it does, I will keep you posted. But as I say, if we can get some of these things done and dusted and out the way before Christmas, 
I think I'd feel much, much, much better about that because apparently the little procedure I've got to have will mean I'm pretty uncomfortable probably for about a week and I should be a bit bruised and I don't think you can eat solid food for a few days and they give you some milkshakes or something that you have to have. So it's going to be a little bit, ugh, do you know what I mean, for a little bit. So I'd rather just get that done and out the way. And I don't like leaving these things anyway, do you know what I mean? Because hopefully it's nothing too serious, but you know, whatever it is, it's, well, we know what it is. It's just that it needs to be gone and we don't want it to get any worse. So keep your fingers crossed for me that I hear about that sometime soon. And we've had a super long video again this week, haven't we? But I was determined to show you the purchases this week because next week there's going to be more. There's more. I've got quite a lot coming from next next week. So I'm really looking forward to showing you that. And um, I'm exhausted. So <laughs> it's time for me. It's dark as well, isn't it? I hope you can see me okay. Because Moment on the Bed tonight is actually being filmed at about half past six in the evening, but it is gone completely dark. So we're getting these dark nights now, aren't we? But the clock and the clocks will be going back soon. Is it back? Yeah, four back spring forward yeah the clock's going back soon as well so we're proper into it now aren't we proper autumn anyway thank you so much for joining me again this week i hope you have enjoyed this week's video and if you have please do give it a big thumbs up and i'd love you to subscribe as well and again i just reiterate and remind you that should i get to 2000 subscribers by christmas i am going to be doing a big giveaway a big giveaway so if you think of anybody that might be interested in having a look at my channel and subscribing please recommend it because you could be in with a chance of winning something very special around christmas new year time i'm not to see i'm not going to tell you what it is but i've got something good lined up <laughs> got something good planned looking forward to it anyway hopefully in next week's video there'll be lots more to show you i'm hoping the invisible chef will be around but we've got lots on with work and one thing and another with that. Hopefully get Nancy in the video next week as well. She's fine. But until then, stay safe, stay in the boat and keep doing all things good. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday. Until then, take care. Bye. <laughs>